All right. So, folks, you may be a little curious to why there's a, a little kitten up here on the screen. And I felt that with the tense situation going on and all of these counts and counts and counts and things coming right down to the wire in Georgia and some other things like that, I... I felt that it was best that we had some of this conversation while we all watched cute baby animals doing cute little things. A little, <laughs> there's a little rabbit there. Uh, what it, what is that? A tarsier? It's it's moving too fast. Gerbils. Anyway, I think this is nice because um, we're going to talk about these pollsters in a second here, and the uh, pollsters got everything wrong. As you can see, the Republican Party, though we're battling with Trump right now, and Rightfully so, we will prevail. I can guarantee that. At least, I believe I can guarantee that. But with the Congress, we might not have taken the majority, but we've definitely put Nancy Pelosi's job in danger. We've definitely flipped multiple seats. We've definitely gained some power. That big blue wave they said was coming, it, it never came. I don't know where it went, but it didn't come to this planet. I'll tell you that. Senate? We're doing good. We protected the Constitution. We protect the, the Supreme Court. I, I have no doubt that we'll put in something to keep the support, uh, Supreme Court from expanding as well if uh, we can get into the right situation, electoral rise. But besides that, we took on a major percentage of voters from the minority communities, from Hispanic communities, from the black communities, we took on phenomenal amounts of working class people that just want to live their lives, earn a living, take care of their families and chase their American dream. The 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 lie the Democrat Party was selling was disproven because the majority of people that moved from Republican to Democrat, they were scared white voters that did not want to be called bigots, that did not want to be crucified, that were probably too cowardly to do what was right, do what was in their heart, or they were just rhinos in general. But we gained much more than voters. We have reshaped the identity of the Republican Party for a generation to come. So you're going to see some magic happen either way in the next couple of years. So that really, really excites me. But the, these pollsters, let's get back to these pollsters for a second. Oh, there's little cows. Oh, <laughs> oh, bah! that's so cute. Turkeys and stuff. So these let me minimize this for a second, guys. So these pollsters, they live in a bubble. They operate in the same communities, in the same walks of life, in the same in the same professions and the same professional circles as these politicians, these uh, different wealthy folks. They, they don't walk among the common folk, maybe local news, but these big time news stations doing the polls, these big news companies out there thinking they know what they're talking about. They obviously didn't. They were off double digit points in multiple states. So. I heard them months ago talking about, not months ago, but at least weeks ago, I heard them talking about if the polls turn out to be wrong this time, they're going to be looking for a new job. And I want them to start putting applications out to uh, Costco since they pay very well for cashiers because I don't think we need them anymore. I don't think we need these pollsters anymore. Here's the problem with the news. OK, here's the problem. I'm going to show you an article and then I'm going to show you a series of articles and these pollsters and different things. They work for companies like this. They're all drinking this Kool-Aid. So I want to bring back into the limelight. Ba -ba 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 -bum -bum. Chill. Greta Thunberg recycles Trump's mockery of her as he tries to stop votes. A Swedish teen environmental activist took her shot at the president's rage tweet as the U.S. formally exits from the Paris Climate Agreement that I didn't know rage tweet was in journalism. No, I guess I did, but oh, it's just terrible. It's like dying journalism. They say revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Greta Thunberg, the teenage environmental activist mocked by Donald Trump in a tweet when she was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, waited exactly 11 months before delivering the perfect, I don't remember even how to say that word, riposte, 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 riposta. Anyway, somebody tell me because I... It's been a while since I've seen that word. Uh, the point, I don't want to keep reading this because I'm making a point. I want to show you what the next news station said. Here's USA Today. Oh, within a minute of this, Greta Thunberg mocks Donald Trump with his own words in Twitter. Revenge. Chill, Donald. Chill. Climate activist Greta Thunberg got her revenge against President Donald Trump 11 months later. This is a young 17-year-old teenager. We're talking about how we glorify revenge. This is what this news article it just said in the first sentence. Climate activist Greta Thunberg got her revenge. Like it's some magical great thing. And this is within hours, minutes, whatever of that other article. But it gets even better because we can go to another one. Greta Thunberg trolls Trump with call back to his anger management tweet what ang what just what anger management tweet they, they make no sense whatsoever it's just repeating teen climate activist every single one teen climate activist Greta Thunberg poked fun at President Trump's calls to stop the vote counts using his own words from a 2019 tweet so ridiculous, Donald must work on his anger management problem, then go to a good old-fashioned movie with a friend. Chill, Donald. <laughs> Chill. What? What the... What What does a 17-year-old Swedish teen know about any of this? About anger management? Do they even have anger management in Sweden? I thought they did just the same stuff they were all told to do. Aren't they socialists? I don't know. Um, anyway, oh, this is just terrible, but we can keep continuing. Greta Thunberg trolled Donald Trump's post-election meltdown with his own words. Let's go a little further. Greta Thunberg trolls Trump with his own diss. Chill, Donald, chill. Trump told the teen climate activist to chill last year when she was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Don't you guys see the patterns here? It's, it's just... Orange man bad, beating up young girl, young girl good, young girl gets revenge, ha ha, orange man suffer. And the truth is the orange man, he's not suffering. We all know that this is going to turn out very differently than all of these haters really think. We can still keep going, it's ridiculous. Greta Thunberg to pouting President Trump, chill Donald, chill. Greta Thunberg flips script, tells Trump to go work on his anger management problem. Chill Donald, Greta Thunberg trill, uh, trolls Trump's post-election meltdown with his own words. Chill Greta Thunberg flips script on Trump by telling him to work on his anger management problem. <gasps> Greta Thunberg urges Donald Trump to work on his anger management problem over vote count protest. Holy crap. This is what we have. This is what we're working with, folks. We're working with uh, a, a fake media here that's just biased. They're living in their own bubble. This has to do with the pollsters. We're going to get to that in a second. I just want to say that Greta Thunberg isn't a story. Her tweet isn't a story. Tweeting about revenge isn't a story. It's not even it's them calling it revenge, but oh, I'm going to make a statement. Chill. Do you really think she came up with that? You don't think that somebody gave her that line? If you don't think that, if you really believe that Greta Thunberg is some amazing climate activist trying to save the planet and beating down the mean old dictator president of the United States, you, my friend are certifiable. I want you to know that the whole reason the pollsters got everything wrong, and this is what everybody else won't tell you. The entire reason is because these people do not live in reality. They don't. They live in Greta Thunberg tweet world. That's where they live. They live in the Twitter verse. They are intertwined with big tech. They might as well already be cyborgs. They might as well already have the microchip, the, the neural link put in their head. They might as well already be controlled because they are the pollsters included the pollsters included. 
And if there wasn't any fraud or any cheating, this would be a landslide right now. And I suspect we will see an eventual landslide once we get through the courts. But even before that, I think we're going to get through this possibly by the skin of our teeth. And then we're going to make the Democrats eat crow. So I just wanted to get that point across. I really did. And if you like uh, what I had to say and you understand you level with me and you uh, appreciate what I'm doing here, I'd really, really, really like it. If you would go to the little corner of your screen or wherever it is and you pl uh, click that subscribe button, there's a notification bell too. You'll find links to all of my social media in the description section. And uh, I'd really love it if you'd follow along. We're doing big things, making big waves, and we are growing significantly. And we need your help to spread the word about the American Reveille. So I would love it again if you would hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and follow along for the ride, folks. And remember, don't pay attention to these people that say that they understand you, that think that they level with you, that they can predict the future for you. The future is in nobody's hands but God's and yours. Have a good night.